Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Hope you're all doing really well. It has been quite a few weeks since I spoke to you all last and let me tell you, so much has happened in the last month. Uh, I feel like I need to catch up with you all on everything because you're all asking. Um, we got married last month. It's actually like four weeks now, four or five weeks since we got married. Um, yeah, we got married in Mexico on the beach and I'll explain everything as we're going along. I thought I would film and run you through my wedding day makeup. Um, so I've kind of tried to replicate my hair guys. This is obviously nowhere near what it looked like on the wedding day. The hairstylist done such a good job. Um, I've never really had a hair updo before but she made it work exactly how I wanted it. Um, so I've just like chucked it back in a bun. God knows what it looks like from behind. <laughs> but um, yeah, I did have these front pieces curled so I'm just gonna um, clip that out of the way. Um, and this is also what I was wearing on the morning of my wedding. Um, just my like silky white pyjamas. Uh, excuse my nails, I need them done badly. Um, my nails are all lovely for the wedding. I also had a nice tan for the wedding and my eyebrows are laminated. I have none of that at the moment guys. It's been like a month and everything needs doing but we're gonna work with what we got and hope that this turns out exactly as it did on my wedding day. All products used today are cruelty free as always. Um, I spent months months and months stressing about my wedding day makeup. Um, as you guys know, we got married abroad um, in Mexico. It was extremely hot. It was extremely humid. I think it was about 34 degrees when I actually walked down the aisle. And I was panicking over what to do with my face. Um, so I trialed and tested this makeup look so many times before I went out there. But obviously I couldn't actually trial it properly because we don't have that heat and humidity here and when I was trying it, it was like springtime so it was actually quite cold here and obviously makeup lasts so much better in this country <laughs> but I can in fact tell you it did last all day. I did sweat a little bit of it off <laughs> come the evening, that's just because I was dancing so much like everyone was saying like you need to sit down like just chill <laughs> but I just couldn't guys, I was loving life. Um, so yeah, I'm gonna run you through all the products that I use. The first thing I used was some lip balm. This was Factor 30 lip balm, um, just because we were in the sun, as I said. I used the Charlotte Tilbury Magic Cream. I absolutely love this stuff, guys. And you only need a little bit as well. So I literally just take about this much. And just start working that into the skin. I really took my time to do my makeup on my wedding day. I didn't want um, I didn't want to be rushing anything. I wanted to make sure everything was perfect. But literally, as I was finishing up my makeup, like we had to go. Like I was chucking on my dress and like running out the door. We didn't have time for like touch ups or anything. It just went by. the The morning just went by so quickly. Um, so yeah, just taking that up my neck as well. I am going to be um, answering some of your questions as well. I asked um, you guys over on Instagram for your wedding uh, questions, so I did a little Q&A. went in with three different primers. I know that sounds a bit excessive, um, but with the heat and humidity I really wanted to make sure everything was locked in and also I trialed and tested this as I said. These products seem to work really well for me for my skin so it also made my base look very flawless which is what I wanted. Um, so the second product I used was the uh, I Heart Revolution Tasty Coconut Primer with Coconut Extract. This was kindly gifted to me by I Heart Revolution but I've gone out and purchased one since because it's that good. Um, I just love the scent. I love how refreshing it feels on the skin and it's like so easy to go on but it gives you that tacky texture ready for when you apply your foundation. So I apply that all over 
like I did with my moisturiser. And then I'm also going to go in with the Ordinary High Adherence Silicone Primer. If you guys have been here a long time, you know this is one of my favourite primers. But I literally take like a pea-sized amount of this and I literally just apply this on my nose, T-zone and forehead. Um, because I have quite visible pores, so I like work that into the pores. So this stuff like really works well for that. And then I take it up to my forehead because I have those forehead lines slowly appearing as I'm exiting my 20s. I've got one year left guys. I turn 29 in October. Okay and then um, I have got one more primer to do but before I done that I actually went in with my brow product because I wanted this to set into place um, before I apply everything else basically. Uh, so I took all my brushes, some of them are out because I've used them, but I popped all my brushes in this little travel case which was so handy. Um, I tried to keep my makeup minimal guys but it just it didn't work because of the wedding. I ended up taking so much stuff. Um, but I tried to keep my brushes all in this case which zips up nicely. Um, yeah, and it was quite handy actually on the day of the wedding having it there in front of me so I could see where all my brushes were just to save a bit of time. So I'm then going in with the Anastasia Beverly Hills Brow Freeze. This stuff is amazing um, with my eyebrow brush and I took quite a bit of this. If I zoom you guys in, just start working this into the brow hairs pushing them up in the direction I wanted them to go. My brows actually need doing now guys. I like wax them and done them perfectly for the wedding but I have got a few hairs right now so just ignore that but I really love how my brows turned out on the day of the wedding. So just brushing them all up and then I kind of like angle it out towards the tail of the brow and then just go across the top and shape them however you want and then I like to use my finger to press those hairs down so that they're all like stuck to the skin and I really think this step is necessary I feel like this is what keeps my eyebrows in place all day especially in that heat they didn't move they didn't budge all day um and then i do go back over just play around with them until you're happy but yeah the reason i do this step first as well is because you don't want to go pressing against the foundation and you can see the difference that makes just gonna get those questions up i've actually asked them on both my Instagrams, my personal and my um, Leash Artistry makeup account. So I'm gonna have to go back and forth between them. Okay. So Abby asked, did you do your own wedding makeup? Yes, I did do my own wedding makeup, which is why I'm filming this video for you guys. That's probably like my most asked question. All my clients were asking me, are you doing your own makeup? Yes, we did actually book, um, our wedding was like a package and the makeup was included for myself. The makeup and hair was included in the package. Um, but I didn't want it guys, I, I said I didn't want the makeup because, um, one, because this is my job, <laughs> I do it all the time anyway. Um, and I do bridal makeup on other people so I kind of know what I'm doing. Two, I know my own face. And three, even if I did want to have it done just as like a little pamper on my wedding day, I wasn't able to have a trial because we were getting married abroad in Mexico. So like before before the wedding, there was no hair trial, um, no makeup trials, anything like that. So yeah, I wanted to do my own makeup, um, but I did want to have my hair done because I'm just hopeless with hair guys. 
My bridesmaids didn't want their makeup done either. They could have had it done. But, guys, it was just so hot. Like, I can't even explain how hot it was the day of the wedding. Um, once we were all finished and in our dresses, we went down, we were waiting for our lift um, to get to the ceremony. And it was scorching, like, so hot. We were all stood under this little shelter, um, trying not to melt. <laughs> before all the photos. Everyone just wanted to do their own makeup um, just because nobody wanted to wear too much. Um, the bridesmaids kept it quite minimal. I personally, this was another one of the questions actually, um, I personally didn't want to do too much of a minimal look for my wedding day. Um, I was watching Jamie Genevieve's video not too long ago and she said if you're used to wearing makeup on a daily basis and you're used to having this certain look um, when you're going out or for photos or whatever um, don't go minimal on your wedding day just because society says so you're not gonna like how you look in those photos compared to what you're used to your face looking like does that even make sense? <laughs> but um, I basically wanted, I wanted it to look natural, but kind of glam. It's natural. It's natural. I laminated my brows before the wedding. Um, I haven't done, I haven't laminated my brows at all. So if you have your brows laminated beforehand, they will hold in place so much more. But um, yeah. We're working with what we've got today. Once the brows are stuck down, I'm then going to go in with my Urban Decay All Nighter Setting Spray. Now, I believe this is the thing that kept my makeup on for so long on the wedding day. Just the product itself, which is amazing, by the way, but the fact that I sprayed it before and after makeup. Um, so I really, really wanted to... I really wanted to make sure this was going to last through the humidity. I really wanted to make sure it was going to be um, good for photos. And I really do think it worked. So, I'm gonna spray my Urban Decay All Nighter. This was the mini travel size one as well. I got the mini version because we were going abroad. Don't be shy with it. So, I popped that all over. And just let that sink into the skin so that's gonna lock the like moisturizers and primers and everything in I feel like it's also given a barrier so when we apply the makeup and then lock it again with our setting spray it's like holding it all together then I'm gonna go in with the Charlotte Tilbury flawless filter in shade medium this is also a primer as well guys it's just got um like a lovely shade to it and a bit of a glow so I literally took this on all points of my face did to look um, like a glowy and sun kissed on the wedding day went in with my Morphe M439 to blend that out you can already see the glow that's giving me it just adds a bit of colour to the face as well and acts as a primer all in one to keep the foundation on in a minute. I often wear this on its own um, for those like no makeup looks uh, or like as, as an everyday sort of foundation. It's so lightweight, it's really lovely. It's given such a lovely glow to the skin as you can see. Um, so then I'm going to go in with my foundation. This was probably the hardest decision um, I had to make about the wedding. I just didn't know what foundation to go for, so I took three <laughs> with me. A little bit excessive, but I just didn't know how my skin was going to be out there, if that makes sense, because sometimes the humidity makes my skin break out, which is why I wanted to take a couple different options for my foundation. Um, but luckily I didn't break out at all. Thank goodness. But here are the foundations that I took with me. 
So firstly, I'm gonna go in price order actually, just so you guys know. So first foundation I took with me was the Milani 2 in 1 foundation. Second foundation I took was actually a CC cream, um, and it was the IT Cosmetics Color Correcting Full Coverage Cream. This had SPF 50 in it, which is why I wanted to take it, and I did such good things about this one. And then the third foundation was the Huda Beauty Faux Filter Foundation, which is one of my absolute favorite foundations. What I did was actually mix them all together, and it created like the best concoction <laughs> ever. So, I'm gonna do that again to show you guys. I'm gonna take a pump of the Milani. They're all like similar but slightly different in shade. Um, pump of the Milani and I'm just gonna pop that on all points of the face. A tiny pump of the IT Cosmetic CC Cream. Literally not much, you can see the color difference there. Um, And then a tiny pump of um, the Huda. This new consistency of the Huda has gone like really thick. So this is what I did. I mixed all three. I applied all three to my face and then just started blending them out and just really making sure that they are all blended together. Yes, yeah, so guys, the wedding, oh my gosh. I have like so much to tell you. You've probably already seen the photos. If not, I'll pop like a couple of them up here. Oh my gosh, it was just the best day of my life and I can't even explain to you guys the day and the holiday we had as well. It was just surreal, like the whole the whole trip, the whole holiday. So the wedding day itself, oh my gosh. Everyone we've spoken to, like all our guests, all our friends and family have all said it's the best wedding they've ever been to. Um, I don't really have a lot of weddings to compare it to, so I wouldn't know, but they've all said how, how amazing it was, which is really lovely to you, obviously. Um, Oh, but guys, it was just so amazing. So we all flew out to Mexico like a week before the wedding so that we had like a week there uh, to enjoy with family and friends. Have the wedding like in the middle of the holiday and then we had a week to enjoy um, after the wedding. There were 33 of us in total. So yeah, 31 of our friends and family came all the way to Mexico, flew thousands of miles to be with us on our wedding day. It was just amazing. Um, now I'm just going in with the iconic London illuminator drops just pop in these on all the high points and just doing all the cream products now guys so i used quite a lot of cream products before the powder products and just blending that out with the beauty blender as well so we flew to cancun and we stayed at the grand riviera princess resort in um riviera maya it was absolutely beautiful um, we couldn't fault the hotel, it was amazing. Um, the only thing was we booked a huge hotel, like a massive, massive hotel, because we didn't want all our guests feeling like they were on top of one another. We thought everyone would be wanting to do their own thing. Everyone would want to like chill and like, you know, just have their own holiday and just come for the wedding. But it was not like that at all. Um, which was a good thing, but I just, I couldn't believe it. Like everyone got on so, so well. Everyone just met at the same spot every day. There was like 30 of us in the same spot by the pool every day. And then we'd all go for like our meals and then all meet afterwards for like one big drink in the night. It was just so special. And it's a holiday we'll, we'll never ever have again with all of our like, with all of our nearest and dearest in like one place, like all of my family and my friends, all of John's family, his friends and our friendship group as well. Everyone just got on like a house on fire, it was amazing. I'm just using the She Glam Sun Sculpt uh, Liquid Contour and just pop in that on 
on my cheeks like this and my forehead down my nose so I've been in quite um quite a lot with this contour guys I wanted to make sure that everything was like chiselled <laughs> Yeah, so the actual holiday itself was amazing. We had such a good time. Um, the night before the wedding, um, we done like a Sten night, which is like stag and hen night, like mixed together. So everyone that was coming to the wedding uh, come to the Sten night. So all of us women had a white night, so we all wore something white. I don't want to get demonetized, so all of the men um, done sh shirt night. Uh, so they had a bit of a competition who could wear the worst shirt that was funny we all met up afterwards in like um, the plaza area and we were all just having a drink and a dance and it was just lovely um, and then me and John said our goodbyes and yeah by maid of honour Zoe came to stay with me and John went to stay with um his best man Nathan who happened to be together so it worked out perfect um, and yeah so we woke up I was like a bag of nerves the night before the wedding I was so bad um, oh, for concealer I'm going in with the elf 16 hour camo concealer this concealer is incredible so good, so affordable, probably the best concealer I've ever used but you only need a tiny amount because it's so full coverage so I literally just put two dots here and I'm just going to work that in first and I can add more um, later if need be you don't want to go in with too much of this see what I mean? like I just used a tiny bit so a little goes a long way once I've like semi blended it, I'm just gonna leave it. So leave it set a little bit before you blend it out. It's just gonna give you a brighter look. I'm also dragging it up here to the temples and down the center of the nose. Literally right now I'm just using whatever's left on my sponge and just look how pigmented it is. I probably used even less than this on my wedding day actually because it was just so hot. Yeah, what was I saying? Um, yeah, so I was so nervous. I was a bag of nerves the night before the wedding. Um, just everything just felt real, you know, and we'd hung my dress up and I was just like, I had butterflies, I felt so nervous. But then when I woke up the morning of the wedding, I was a little nervous, so he took me for a walk to the beach so that I could chill and calm my nerves. Um, and then we all went for breakfast, us women, my bridesmaids, my mum, um, and then went to have our hair done. Wedding organiser picked me up in a little golf buggy <laughs> um, and gave me my bouquet. Then I went back to the room um, to do my makeup. So I wanted to do my makeup, get in my dress, make sure everything was sorted, have a few photos. By the time I'd done my makeup I just feel like everything was like a mad rush. But yeah, I'm happy um, I did do my own makeup. I just knew what I wanted, if you know what I mean. Um, so I've just blended out the um, concealer, as you can see. And next I'm actually going to go in with a liquid blush as well. I got this one, believe it or not, in Primark. And it's absolutely amazing. I still got the price on it actually. £4. And it's a dupe for the Charlotte Tilbury one. And it's so, so good. You only need a little bit. I'm just going to squeeze it out. Not so good for clients because it's quite unhygienic. But for yourself, it's amazing. And it's like a really lovely like rosy colour as well. Ooh, a lot come out there. Something I did do on my wedding day, which I would recommend you guys doing as well if you are doing your own makeup, is to 
work things in little by little so like just apply a small amount of the blusher first and then if you feel you need like a little bit more you can always add that in afterwards then but it's so much harder to take things away once you've already applied them so yeah I did want um my cheeks to look really like rosy on my wedding day I just think it gives like a lovely like pretty kind of look so yeah, that is all the um, liquid products done. So then I went in with my Huda Beauty uh, Loose Baking Powder in Banana Bread. Um, this is also a mini like travel size one. I tried to get a few mini travel size things like mascara and bits like that. First of all, just make sure you've got rid of those creases and uh, the eyes. Something I never used to have, but I've got it all of a sudden. So I'm just setting the under eyes with this. I'm also setting around my like mouth area where the smile lines are. And also setting my forehead wrinkles. <laughs> I didn't bake the day of the wedding um I just had a fear of it like going all cakey looking in the humidity so so literally just set everything like that then I'm gonna go in with the Kat Von D shade and light palette I bought a new one of these to go because I know that this is like my holy grail favorite um contour kit contour and highlight kit ever it's so so good um so actually it's called kvd now they've changed the name so kvd booty um shade and light palette i took this light shade for my wedding day tap off the excess and i just like press it in to the skin i don't like drag the brush because I just think you're like dragging away all the product from um, before, like all your cream products. So just make sure you tap in, not dragging. Tap, 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 tap. And you can see how much that's brightened up the area already. Just applying a little bit under the cheekbones as well. Like that. I'm going in with a mixture of these two shades here um, just to contour. I literally took the tiniest amount of this and just applied it to the cheekbones right there like up towards the temple just to contour that area and then I also across my jawline and then I took whatever's left on the brush down the sides of my nose, literally with the lightest hand. I don't want like any like harsh nose lines, but if you do think it's a little bit too harsh, just go back in with the um, lighter brush, just to like tone it down a bit, like that. Then I'm gonna go in my bronzer for bronzer I had like the hardest time choosing a bronzer as well because some bronzers can look cakey, some um, like not the right shade but I narrowed it down to like two of my favourites and then I ended up taking um, the Too Faced Chocolate Soleil bronzer which is one I've used and had in my kit for like the longest time, it's never failed me so yeah this is the one I took it's matte and it's got like a lovely like bronze pigment to it rather than it looking like orange if that makes sense that's something i really didn't want on the day of my wedding was to look all orange and then for blusher i took the milani luminoso baked powder blusher um this is like my favorite blusher ever use it on all my brides let's answer some more of your questions guys or I could just ramble all day. 
Jade asked, what one bit of advice would you give getting married abroad? That's such a good question. Um, oh, don't wear high heels. <laughs> if you're getting married on the beach. Um, I didn't wear high heels, I wore sandals and it was like the best decision of my life. I feel like I was able to thoroughly enjoy every moment of my wedding because I wasn't in pain from wearing heels. Um, I'm just applying a little bit of that to my nose as well. Mm. Just tapping it up towards my temples. Um, yeah, I didn't wear heels. All the guests wore, well, most of the guests wore sandals or flats. Um, a lot of people took their shoes off and just went barefoot on the sand and that's what we wanted. We wanted that like chilled vibe about our wedding day and it really was that. It was just perfect. Um, but no, on a serious note, what one bit of advice would you give for getting married abroad? <laughs> Only invite the people you truly want there. But I feel like that's, that's a bit of advice for your wedding in general anyway. But we invited the people who we we really wanted to be there at our wedding day and because of that it was just the best time ever, it was the best day of our lives because everyone that was there truly meant the world to us, we meant the world to them there was no animosity between anyone, everyone was just like one big family and yeah that really really made all the difference. The wedding is such a sentimental special day and to have just only the people that you truly truly want there is probably the best piece of advice I can give. Um, for highlighter I use the Anastasia Amrezy highlighter I'm like literally like hitting pan on this now guys and it's my favourite highlighter ever look at that I literally only applied a tiny bit of this to the apples of my cheeks I didn't want to look like dripping wet because I, kn I knew I was going to be sweating enough as it was um, but I just wanted that sun to hit like in the certain places if you know what I mean and the brush I'm using is the PC17 by Peaches and Cream also taking a little bit of this on the forehead just above the brows there just anywhere the light would would naturally just hit you so like that let me answer another question how hard was it finding the perfect dress I don't know whether I've already spoken to you guys about this I probably have so excuse me if I've already bored you with this story but um I seen the dress on Instagram um and I absolutely love it I'm gonna zoom you in I seen the dress um on Instagram on the Eva Ashley Instagram and I absolutely loved it I'm just popping a little bit of that concealer under my brows I'm gonna carve them out I absolutely loved it but it's always one of those things in the back of your head like oh my gosh it would that suit me it looks lovely on her but would it look nice on me I don't know um I'm just using a flat concealer brush to carve them out look how much my brows have dropped already I need to laminate them pronto yeah so I seen it on Instagram booked the appointment because I absolutely loved the dress and when I turned up for my appointment there was one mannequin in the window and my dress was on the mannequin like if that's not meant to be I don't know what is like I couldn't believe it out of the hundreds of dresses they had my dress was the one on the mannequin and yeah so I went in I told her the kind of style and vibe I wanted she understood the assignment <laughs> I said I wanted it quite floaty and beachy and boho kind of vibes um, with like some lace, like some texture. I didn't want it to be like just plain white. Um, I wanted some texture, some detail. Um, I basically explained the dress that I'd seen 
on the mannequin. Um, so she pulled that dress off the mannequin for me to try on because it was the only one in the shop. I said I wanted to try one fitted dress just to see how I felt in it, but I didn't think that a fitted dress was kind of like a beachy vibe, if that makes any sense. Like we knew we were getting married on the beach because the wedding was all booked. I tried like five or six different dresses on and each time I was just walking out and I was just like, mm, no, <laughs> you know. And then when I tried this one on, we just all burst into tears. It was the one, it was the dress. Um, the dress of my dreams actually. I'll pop a photo up if you haven't seen it yet. I had a few fit-ins and then um, the last fit-in that I went to, um, my nan came because she couldn't come all the way to Mexico, which was um, really sad. Um, but uh, she came to the fit-in, so she seen me um, like in the dress in the fit-in. I'll pop a photo up here somewhere. Um, and so yeah, that meant the world to me that she came to see the dress. Everyone loved the dress as much as I did, which was amazing. And a lot of people didn't think I was going to pick something like that. Everyone had bets that it was going to be like fitted or like a fishtail or something. But I think I shocked everyone with my choice of dress. But I wouldn't have changed it for the world. I absolutely loved it. The only thing was because I had lost two and a half stone from the time I first tried it on to the time of the wedding, it was slightly big on me on the wedding day, like even though she'd taken it in, like it was two sizes too big for me. She, the, the seamstress had taken the dress in, but on the wedding day it was still a little bit too big, but it was, it's all good, it didn't fall down. <laughs> but by the end of the night it was covered in seaweed and twigs and sand and God knows what else, um, but that's a sign of a good wedding I think. Next question from Rachel, do you regret going abroad to get married as you don't really get a honeymoon? Ah, so yeah, we are going on a honeymoon, which I can't wait for, um, but we're not going until November. One, because obviously we had a holiday when we went to get married in Mexico, so we didn't feel the need to come home and then go on another honeymoon straight away so we've booked our honeymoon for November so we've got a little bit of a wait but it'll be worth it and also um, you have to wait till like at that time anyway because it's winter there at the moment so so yeah we will be going on our honeymoon in November I can't blink and wait for my eyebrows I tried so many different brow products for so long um, the only product that I truly love is the Anastasia Dip Brow Pomade. Um, that works really well for me. But I wanted more of a like powdery brow because I wanted it to look a little bit more natural for the wedding. So I literally just used this brow kit from Collection. Um, and I took the middle shade and it's kind of like an eyeshadow to be honest. And I'm literally just like combing that through the brows really lightly. Because I laminated and tinted my brows before we went, I didn't actually need to do a whole lot to my brows. Hannah asked, if you could choose just one moment of the day to relive, what would it be? So that's actually really funny, Hannah, because um, me and John were on about this yesterday. And... Um, we both said the exact same thing. So the whole day, it's, it's really hard because the whole day was amazing, but um, we both said we would like to relive the first dance again, um, which is something I didn't think I would say because it was probably the part I was most nervous for. I don't know why because obviously I'm a dance teacher. I'm not, I wasn't nervous about the dance. I was just nervous about us being the only two dancing and everyone else watching, I think. Um, and John was really nervous as well for that, bless him. Um, so yeah, but we both said we'd like to re relive that again. It was just the most like amazing, like sincere moment. We just, we loved that. So yeah, definitely the first dance. Um, and we danced to um, Jack Johnson, who 
He's my absolute favourite artist ever. Um, we danced to Better Together. Bit of a funny story actually, like two weeks before the wedding, I decided that we should do an actual rehearsed dance. He did take quite a bit of convincing, but once I like got him into the swing of it, he actually loved it, he loved practicing. We only rehearsed it like five times before the wedding. Um, but it went like so smoothly. Um, it was just magical, I loved it. Nobody knew either that we were doing like a surprise like dance. Um, so yeah, that was really lovely. Um, and then we all danced the night away for the rest of the night. It was just the best. Jess said, did it all go to plan? It did indeed, I'm so glad it did because I was stressing, I think my number one um, thing I was stressing about was the weather because when we actually landed in Mexico there was like a tropical storm and we went in like rainy season. It was awful, the weather was so bad the first day um, and I was just like, oh no, please be nice for the wedding day but the universe had my back. It was like the most glorious day ever the pictures just turned out amazing because we're all in the sunshine it was fab so for the wedding day actually for the whole holiday I took two palettes but mainly because these are the ones i wanted to use for the wedding day so i took the be perfect clientele makeup by jar palette and the jacqueline hill divine neutrals palette by morphe um absolutely loved my choice of palettes I chose the Jaclyn Hill palette for these two shades here, um, Chic Happens and Just Barely. And I did use some of the brownie shades as well the rest of the holiday, but not for the wedding day. And then in this palette, I used a mixture of the shade Blush. I wanted like um, like a pinky, neutrally kind of vibe. Um, so yeah, I used the shade Blush. Um, a tiny bit of the shade Sultry, tiny bit of Too Much and a little bit of just black as well. So those are the shades I'm going to be using um, throughout this look. My camera battery is flashing so I may need to go charge that in a second. So I'll just show you guys one eye on camera and then I'll do one eye off camera. So the main um, brush I used for this look was the Morphe M441 and I first went in with the shade blush from that Makeup by Jar palette and I just start working that in up and over crease like so using a really light hand Then going in with the shade Sultry. So I know this looks quite um, dramatic right now, but you'll see how I make it look more natural in a second. I just wanted to get the colour pigment on first, just as like my like base colour. Because um, once that's in place, then you can work from that. So I'm just making sure all the edges are blended nicely no like harsh lines okay and then I went in with the shade too much and just black mixed just on the outer portion here just tap that in place just to get like the most color payoff and then I went back in with the shade blush and my other brush just to start blending that into the outer V. Okay, and then I slowly started dragging that into the crease as well. Just so it's slightly smoky, but also like pinky and neutral. I spent so long trying to decide what kind of like look I wanted on my eyes. Um, it was probably one of the hardest decisions. <laughs> I made with my makeup look I didn't know whether to go gold or like browns or just completely like neutral but in the end I went for like a blush shade 
which I'm happy with. Going back in with the concealer, just pop that on the back of my hand. And then going in with this fluffy brush and picking up that concealer and popping it on the lid. I didn't want to do a cut crease for my wedding day because I just think a cut crease is way too harsh. But what I did want was a little pop of like brightness if that makes sense. I didn't want the whole look to be all blush. Back in with a shade blush up and over. And then I'm going in with the Morphe palette and taking the lighter shade which was Cheek Happens and just setting that in place. So I'm taking it on the inner corner across that. I actually went in with my finger for this like that and then I also set my brow bone with that shade as well. Come back in with the blush shade and just tying that all together. That's pretty much all I did there. I didn't go too heavy. I wanted it to be quite subtle but noticeable at the same time. Then I went in with the blush by made by Mitchell in the shade Drip Drip and I actually used this on my eye. Oh my gosh guys this stuff is amazing. I gotta zoom you in for this. Can I zoom in any more? No, I'll just sit forward. This stuff is absolutely amazing. Like, I don't know if you can see. It comes out like this. And when I first seen it, I was like, that's really metallic. But if you just take a tiny bit on your brush, like wipe off the excess and start patting it and like blending it out with your finger, Oh my gosh, it gives like a lovely glitter effect. I've seen somebody use this on TikTok and I was like, I need that for my wedding day. <laughs> so I bought it and I literally put it everywhere, guys. Because it's so, um, like, it's like a transparent glitter. I can't really explain it. And I'm hoping the camera is doing it justice. It's like see-through, but like noticeable in certain lights so in the sun on my wedding day it was just it was gorgeous it was in the kvd beauty tattoo liner one of the best liners i've ever used um and i'm just gonna apply that all the way across my lash line and then for mascara i use the Too Faced Waterproof Mascara. Um, this is the mini travel size. Popping that on my top lashes. Make sure you've got a waterproof mascara for your wedding day. Um, this didn't budge all day through the tears. Actually, I didn't cry as much as I thought I was going to. Sorry, John, to like out you, but John literally blubbered the whole time. That was actually another question. Hang on, let me get it up. Bethan asked, did your husband cry as you walked down the aisle? Oh my gosh, guys, I didn't expect him to be so emotional. I thought I was going to be the emotional one. Bless his heart, he was literally sobbing. I've never seen him cry ever i cry all the time i'm such an emotional person like you've just got to put like a dog's trust advert up on the tv and i'm crying but um john never cries and on the day of the wedding i held it together so well like i didn't cry walking down the aisle i had a little bit of a moment before walking down the aisle i was like whew, trying to keep the tears back um but when i walked down the aisle i was like focus 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 i was just smiling and like when we were saying our vows and everything I held it together so well but I had to because John was such an emotional wreck like he was just I was walking down the aisle and the tears were streaming down his face bless him and I, I really didn't expect him to 
to react that way and then he was like crying during his speech as well he was trying to keep it together um all the speeches were just amazing they were lovely i cried during the speeches but that was about it i was like girl no crying your makeup's got to stay put for these photos <laughs> so for lashes another thing that i really struggled with i initially bought the lash based booty faux lashes in the style fp03 they were the lashes i was gonna wear um and then i did like a little bit of research the last like week before the holiday on lashes and decided i actually wanted to go for the tatty lashes in the faux lashes in the style tl19 instead um and they were perfect they were lovely so I'm actually just going to apply one now using my duo latex free glue. I used quite a lot of this and I made sure I applied a lot to like the inner and outer part of the band. A lot of glue, sorry. To the inner and outer part of the band. I just thought I was going to be crying and I thought my lashes were going to fly off but it's all good. And then look down into a mirror and just apply them like that. When I first put these on, I was worried that they were like too dramatic for a wedding day, but actually in the photos, I literally love how they look. Like they're not, they're not too dramatic. Like these, where are they? These are too dramatic, you know? They would have looked like spiders <laughs> okay i'm back guys i've completed this eye off camera i've also done that underneath so i'm just going to talk you through um what i did on this side um so i went for a white eyeliner for my wedding day i just think it looks a bit more natural a bit more um like soft and girly is that the right word <laughs> as opposed to like um a black eyeliner which makes it look a lot darker and um like smoky so the liner I used was the NYX pure white eyeliner so just hide that to my waterline so I applied some of that blush shade on the inner part here as you can see and then I go in with the black the just black shade on the outer corner just to like tie the top liner with the bottom liner so they kind of cinch together <laughs> um, I'm just gonna answer one more question why did you go abroad to get married and why did you choose Mexico? Um, good question. So, um, we originally didn't plan on going abroad to get married. Um, it never really crossed our minds. Um, we were set on getting married in Wales, in this country. And we were like researching a few venues. This was back last year. Yeah, yeah, last year. Um, we realised we just didn't want, like, a massive fuss. I don't know if that makes any sense. We didn't want, like, this huge palava over-the-top wedding. We knew that if we'd got married in this country, it would have been that. We have a lot of people in our lives um, which would have made the wedding massive here. So we decided we wanted a more um, like intimate, smaller wedding and then when we realised, do you know what, we could actually get married on the beach and I won't have to wear heels and it'll be so much more chill and we'll have blue skies and beautiful sunshine. That appealed to us a lot more and the fact that it would be a lot smaller with just the people that like mean the most to us there. It just we lean more towards that instantly and then when we realize the price difference getting married abroad is so much cheaper but yeah it was 100 percent without doubt one of the best decisions we have ever made it was just amazing i would recommend anyone to go and get married abroad you're not just celebrating your wedding like the one day you get like a whole two weeks to celebrate with everyone which was just insane like a lot of people a lot of brides i've spoken to have said they spend their whole wedding day catching up with people who they haven't seen in years um and they've got to go around catching up with everyone individually 
whereas we had chance to catch up with everyone like a week prior to the wedding and then we had the wedding so we all just got to enjoy and have a laugh and a dance and a drink together and it, it was just so relaxed it was it was a very very chilled atmosphere um, and yeah we 100% made the right choice the reason we chose uh, Mexico um, is actually because we just love Mexico we've been three times now we know the weather's good um, it's relatively safe um, the beaches are fab the hotels are amazing the people the Mexican people are just so lovely and funny um, and the food the food is always good in Mexico. So yeah, um, those are the reasons we chose to go to Mexico. Um, just using my Colourpop Flexitarian now on my inner corners. Um, this is like my favourite inner corner highlight ever. So for lips, this is another thing I really struggled with. Getting the right products. I actually use four. Four <laughs> for my lips. So the first product I used was the Charlotte Tilbury Lip Liner in Pillow Talk. I then went in with my absolute favourite, if you know me and if you've been here for a while, you'll know this is my favourite, the KVD Booty um, Liquid Lipstick in the shade Lolita. Then I used this one, I don't even know who this is by, I was sent this by iHeart Revolution I think it was. <clears throat> No, it wasn't. It was by... I was sent this by... Beauty Bay, was it? Or... I can't remember, guys, but I was, I was sent this. And the label has come off, but it says, Semi Shine, Why Not? It was like a pinky shade, and I loved it on top of these. And then um, I also used a Kiko Gloss in the shade... 18. It's like a goldy, pinky, glitter gloss. So, I'll show you how I got my perfect wedding day lips. Let me try and put this down. I just love the wedding day. I wish I could relive it all over again. We got married in, um, it was called a Riviera gazebo. It was like this wooden hut gazebo on the beach. And the vibes were just amazing. It was just so lovely. I'll like insert a photo. I'm sure you guys would have seen the pictures anyway by now. Um, and then we had a toast, champagne, and then we had all of our photographs taken on the beach and the, the scenery was so perfect for that. And the photographers were amazing as well. Because the thing is we weren't actually able to like pick our photographers because we booked a package. We had no idea who the photographers were, what their work was like, what they'd be. We just completely wung it and like I think that's what I love most about this wedding is we were so chilled about everything, about booking everything about like what to expect like a lot of people stress about the little detail but we literally just left it down to the wedding coordinator and she pulled it off also I had an email like a few days before the wedding saying hi um hi Alicia I'm your new wedding coordinator um, the coordinator that you have been dealing with for the, for the past year has left and I'm now filling in her space and I'm taking over your wedding and I like stressed I was like oh my gosh somebody new has stepped in she's not gonna know what we want but literally she pulled it off so well we couldn't have asked for someone better to you know plan our wedding for us she literally sat down with us a few days before wrote everything down as we wanted it we told her like the seating plan and the way we wanted everything and she just pulled it off so that's the lip liner you could totally just wear pillow talk on its own like it's so lovely um but I did want to wear um the KVD Lolita just because I feel like it's my shade like if I had to wear one liquid lipstick 
again for the rest of my life it would be this and it is quite dark um but I make it work with the with the pink you'll see in a second so I'm just taking a little bit of this applying it over the top of pillow talk you can see it just deepens it slightly yeah so um everything went to plan um like we couldn't taste our cake or anything we didn't know what our cake was gonna look like went in with the lipstick on top of that just to add a bit of pink as you can see guys I spent ages coming up with this concoction of lipsticks <laughs> and then I went in with the Kiko lip gloss but I literally only applied this to the top of the lips here and a little bit on the bottom yeah then I went on to touching up um, my face so I think everything looks okay at the moment I'm just gonna touch up the contour and the cheeks forehead um, Set that again with my all nighter. Then I just done some bottom mascara with the same Too Faced waterproof mascara. I also added a little bit of um, that Amreezy highlighter at the end on my brow bone. down my nose and just a little bit more on my cheeks okay last product I've just finished my entire face and the last product I used was the she glam sun kissed body highlighter in the shade Medusa I love this guys on the day so I literally just pumped like a few what's happened to the pump a few like splodges like this all all over I don't know what keeps happening to the pump okay so I've literally just plastered myself in that and I'm going to take this um, body brush and just start buffing it in so it gave me on the wedding day a lovely like bronze like glow but there's also some shimmer in it oh my gosh it looked so nice in the sun and in like the photos on my neck I've also popped in my earrings that was another thing like this actually takes so much to decide um, when you're getting married like what kind of jewellery do you want and just all sorts um, I went for pearls um, purely because of my hair colour I just thought how nice would pearls look against like my black hair and I wasn't wrong it did look really nice they like stood out in the photos um, so I'm so glad I went for pearls okay so that's like the shimmery, glowy body bronzer. Hang on, let me put some more here. Just look at that. It's amazing. I did, the girls were laughing at me actually because I did actually fake tan for my wedding, but I only done my um, chest, my back and my arms. And I didn't do my legs because they weren't going to be on show and I didn't want like a patchy tan for the rest of the holiday. So when I was getting ready my legs were like really pale and <laughs> the top half was all tanned. Yeah and I also did go back in with the Amreezy highlighter and I went over my clavicle area just like added 
some glow and then I went over like my shoulders just to make everything like really glowy and I took some like, down the centre of my chest here as well so yeah and that was pretty much the entire makeup look I'm going to pop my necklace on as well and there we have it guys my wedding makeup I was going to put my dress on as well for this video but it's packed away in the box and I do not want to pack it back into the box again <laughs> so um, yeah this is literally what I wore on my wedding day so yeah here's a little close up gloss and eyelash glue is the only thing I took to top up with I didn't top up my makeup at all though because it pretty much stayed put the majority of the day and then by the evening I was having too much fun dancing anyway to care about my makeup but no it did last all day um if you do recreate this be sure to tag me in your photos I'd love to see them um, thank you for all your questions as well and thank you so much for all the well wishes um, and congratulations messages. You guys are the best. Um, we really did have the best day ever. But the people that were there have all said the same thing, that it was just the best day ever and I'm so lucky and grateful and blessed to have had that as my wedding day and to be married to John who is literally just the most incredible human being ever. Um, so yeah, I'm now a wife, which is mental. <laughs> you guys enjoyed this video anyway, is this something you would wear on your wedding day? Um, I'm still literally on cloud nine after that day. Um, it just feels very surreal still, but I've also had um, some video requests on, um, one on how I've lost weight. Um, I'm not actually at my target yet. Um, but when I do hit my target I think I'll do a video or I could do one sooner totally up to you guys on how I've lost weight the past year um, and also um, on my endometriosis update because I have a heck of a lot to update you guys on with that but um, yeah if you'd like to see um, either of those videos please let me know and I can film those for you um, but yeah I think that's it guys thank you so much for watching I hope you all have a wonderful day. Um, thank you for watching. Please subscribe if you're new here and you haven't subscribed already. It means the absolute world. Um, and go and check out all my wedding photos over at my Instagram. My Instagram has actually changed now, guys. It's not just Alicia Barron anymore. My name's now Alicia Barron Smith. That was one of the questions. Somebody asked why I chose to double barrel my name. And I think Alicia Barron Smith just has a nice ring to it. Everyone I asked told me to double barrel because it had a, a nicer ring to it than just dropping the baron. Um, and also baron was my granddad's name and it's just like keeping a piece of him with me at all times. Um, yeah, I miss him so much. But yeah, Alicia Baron Smith to me had a nicer ring to it than just Alicia Smith. So that's why I've double barreled. And also it's a lot easier with all my social media platforms and everything as well, keeping the baron and just adding the smith. Um, so people don't think I'm a whole new human being over here. <laughs> but yeah, thank you so much for watching. I'm rambling completely now and my stomach is rumbling. I'm rambling, stomach's rumbling. <laughs> I'll see you all in my next video. Bye guys. Bye.